Welcome to Math uh, 142. My name is Chuck Demanji, and I'm uh, I'm going to be an instructor for this online this online course. Um, I I really like 142 a lot. The class has a lot of trig in it. It's a it's a very cohesive course. Um, 141, the, the class you probably took before this one, feels a little patchworky to me. This course holds together, I think, really well, and and I enjoy it a lot. Lots of great connections. Super interesting content too. Trig is really fun. So uh, this is WAMAP. This is the shell that we'll be using for instruction. And I just want to give you a brief, uh, hopefully brief, introduction to it. So when you uh, log on, it'll look something like this. Um, you've already been here, so you've probably already looked in announcements um, and, in, and in day one because you're watching this video. Um, in this announcements section, I'll post weekly or so whenever there's something that I think is important. Um, You've probably already read this about how getting going is uh, important. And week one, I'll post stuff about the week as well. So announcements will always be there for you. Um, and right now I'm doing what's called student view. This is what your view looks like. There's an instructor view too that I'm going to um, look at real quick. So the whole course is already laid out for each week, the midterms, midterm review, final, final review, etc. Um, and I have these. Uh, set up so that they they come out about a week and a half before uh, Before they things are actually due on them So I, I'm trying to give you lots of front load opportunity to get ahead with stuff if, if you can So as you can see we can already see into week two on Wednesday week three will pop up as well All right jumping in. Let's take a look at a couple of things in week one. This is this week um, the structure of a week will have the lectures uh, for the for the week and um, It will also have You know a video connection to the lecture it also have a list of homework This is the practice I think you should do after watching that lecture and then there's additional video links too. you don't have to you don't have to watch these these are these are completely optional um, And then there's quizzes and forums as well, and this is where I tell you what's due for that week in there We have forums and we have quizzes so let's take a peek at the syllabus and that'll help us wrap a little bit around. So I'm in resources now, looking at, at syllabus. So for this course, uh, there's my, my Wacom email. It's going to be most effective for you to message me in, um, in WAMAP, in, in the WAMAP program. And I'll, I'll show you how to do messages in a little bit. But that, I'll answer that fastest. That, that's the thing that's most likely to be up uh, for me on my desktop. Uh, there's a lot of information on here. The textbook is the platform. <clears throat> Exam schedule. Notice we have a midterm on Tuesday, July 21st, and the final on Wednesday, August 19th. These are both online, and I'll talk a little bit about those in a minute. Um, grading scale, blah, blah, blah. Uh, look at my notes. Yeah, a uh, couple of uh, one important note. This class ends at the final, so we take the final. The class is done. Um, any work that you have must be sub submitted by essentially midnight, the day before the final. So if you're been putting stuff on off, you want to get it done, that sort of thing. It really needs to be done the night before the final. You won't be able to use it. Uh, do it later, or even use what is what are called late passes. I give six late passes, and you can use those on on quizzes. We'll talk about quizzes here in a minute. So we have this category. This is how the the grade's going to fall out. You can read that. Uh, so there's a couple things. Homework. I don't grade the homework. Those are those assignments that I showed you that'll pop up after you look at a lecture. That's just homework right there. Uh, so homework, it's not graded. It's not part of your grade. It's good practice, though. If you're doing it, feeling comfortable on it, um, you, you'll do great on tests and quizzes. Uh, if you have questions on it, you can post them in the forums. Midterm and final, there's 65% of your grade together. The dates are there. So these are going to be online, and it's a two-hour sitting. So you have to, you have to complete uh, the test in two consecutive hours. So you just sit down, take it on your computer, you're done. Uh, but I have a window on each of those days. So on each date... Um, the test will be open from 8 a.m. until 10 p.m. So anywhere in that window, you, you have two hours to take it, two consecutive hours. Um, now, if you start after 8 p.m., 
the, the test ends at, at 10 p.m. So if you start at 9 p.m., you'll only have an hour to complete it. Um, and two hours is plenty of time to complete my assessments. So a couple other categories I have, uh, practice quizzes and forums. So uh, let me talk about practice quizzes real quick. So practice quizzes, they happen every week, and I'm for the most part, I've made them due on Fridays. Um, there's a couple of exceptions in the schedule, but you can check the schedule for that. So they're due on Fridays, and they will cover any lecture that's listed before them. Um, you get four tries on every single question on a practice quiz. Um, they're not timed. You can take as long as you want to do them. Um, if you get it right in any of the four tries, you get full credit on it. Um, they are really structured closely to the timed quizzes. In other words, practice quizzes are really practice quizzes for the timed quizzes. Time quizzes, same structure, two hours to take it, uh, good, good short amount of questions. That they're pretty tight. Um, you only get three attempts per problem on time quizzes. So time quizzes, um, and if you get it right in any of those, you get full credit on them. Um, if, you, if you're doing good on the practice quiz, you're gonna do fine on the time quiz. Really seriously, I designed them so practice is practice for the time quiz. Um, and I have those due on Tuesdays for the most part. Again, check the schedule. Additionally, uh, forums. We have forums uh, every week, and I'm gonna ask you to post uh, to uh, respond to a prompt that I that I write, um, those those will be your posts are due by Fridays, and then you'll have to reply to at least one other uh, student's post as well. And I want those posts with those replies by the next Tuesday. Um, okay, that's basically the structure of the of the class. Uh, oh, a couple things on those practice quiz and times quizzes, um, around to three decimal places. It's just good practice to do um, if it doesn't give you other directions. Also, if you feel that you've been shortchanged on a question, you know, like you, you look at it and you're like, I know I'm right. I know I was right on this. Let me know. Message me in WAMAP or just wait a little bit. Um, um, as After they're due, I will look at the practice quizzes and the time quizzes. I go through and I double check everything that's marked wrong by the auto grader. And often I can tell if like it's a typo or something like that. Um, I'll go feedback on those as well. So after you take your practice quiz, Go back in and look at the feedback that I've given. And then there's a lot of other things that uh, you can look at at your leisure. Okay, so back to resources. That's where I found that syllabus. And I'm going to look at the printable calendar. Um, I really, really suggest you, you print it or have some sort of copy of it you can access all the time. This is the course. This is everything I'm going to ask you to do and when I, when I would like it done by. So um, we have a week's laid out. And so if I look at this on Monday, week one, uh, June 20, oh, Monday, sorry, June 29th, you hopefully looking at this now or looked at it before, uh, you should be looking at the syllabus, intro to WAMAP, watching this video, etc. And I want you to watch the lecture for 6.1. So again, looking back into the week one, that would be 6.1, that lecture right there. So, so notice I have 6.1, 6.2, blah, blah, blah. Those are right here. 6.1, 6.2, 5.1, 5.2. Now, these are, in my opinion, the latest you should be looking at these. You can always do work earlier. Um, and then stuff that is italicized, other than where it says college closed, that's things that are due. That's when they're due. So there's an intro quiz due by Tuesday. Uh, there's an intro forum due by, by Tuesday. And again, notice I tried to make it so there's... Uh, you have some regularity here. The first week's a little bit off. And then uh, week one forum due is here. And week one practice quiz is due here on this Thursday. And they're just due here because the third, uh, the college closed on the third. So those are when things are due by. Um, if you miss a forum, you, you, you're pretty much out of luck unless you can, you know, unless you have some legitimate excuse for it. Um, practice quizzes and time quizzes. This is where late passes come in. I gave you six late passes for the uh, for the whole quarter for summer. And what that means is like if you miss a, a practice quiz, you can go back and do it later by using a late pass. And if you look in, uh, I think it's in resources, it shows you how to use them or message me. I can tell you how to do it. All right. So things that are due are italicized on here. And then I have bold, the midterm and the final as well. So you know when everything is going on. Um, you have access to everything a week and a half before it's due. 
um, you can do stuff early. And uh, I really encourage you to do that. It is, it's worth it to stay on top of it. Summer, summer quarter is really compact. We have to cram a lot in. We have a busy first week, like right out of the gates, a lot to do. So um, I, let me know if you're feeling overwhelmed, that sort of thing. I'm happy to help you figure out uh, how to manage it. My job is to get you through this course. Uh, that's, that's what they pay me for. Okay, and again, you can see on here, typically forum posts are due on Friday and then responses are due by Tuesdays. And again, I, try, I tried to make the schedule as regular as I possibly could. All right, uh, just to point out again, quizzes and forums, like if I look in the structure of a week, here's the lectures. If I look in quizzes and forums, here's the forum and the, and the practice quiz. And then the time quiz for that would be the next week, but you will have access to it as well. All right, uh, one other thing I wanna point out is if you wanna contact me, and I encourage you to do so, uh, you can post stuff in the forums. I'm, I'm very active in the forums. I answer questions in the forums. Um, also, if you look over here where it says messages, um, you can send messages here. And right now I think that I'm the only person in here. So you can send a message to me. Oh, there he is. Question, blah, blah, blah. And uh, one of the things that I really like about WAMAP is it's really robust for writing math. And so here's what I mean. If I look here, add me math. Um, five, four, x to the third power. You can write really good math questions in it. You can do that in the forums as well. All right. Send me any questions that you have. I'm looking here. I'm looking forward to working with you.